Go hello Kabrakin, what you doing here? Let's pop you a little bit. Just some damage. Okay, okay, we got a stun. Oh, that's a good wall. I might be dead here, am I dead here? Very unfortunate place to go here. I guess we're gonna just bail out like this. And blink away. Yeah, still works like a charm. <laughs> I hope they're mad because that was a pretty good play. What is up beautiful people, it's Siladin here, welcome back to my channel, today we're playing Ymir as support in Rank Conquest, accompanied here by Izanami. We are playing against what looks like an Honor Sylvanas combo, or maybe Honor Kabrakin, not even sure yet. Why do they have two Guardians? So Ymir, pretty aggressive support, I'm gonna emphasize in this, gonna try some risky plays. Have a lot of clear, so with the Zanami, we're gonna have instant clear. Oh, that's Thor support. Why though? Whatever, so we're going for Thor here, popping those chalices, trying to apply some damage. Gonna do some more damage to both of them, nice. Need to back off here. We're most certainly gonna be ganked early this game, because we're gonna be very pushed up all the time I opted for boots tier 2 by the way as a start which is not the best not ideal but it's pretty good for me to be able to chase them down I can tank this pretty well we're dealing double damage with our orders because of our passive the frostbite Thor is looking for us to know... Oh, hello, Thor. Jenna... Oh, that's unfortunate. Very easy to miss point blank. It was a good play by him, trying to be on my side. He doesn't have a dash, so that means we can do stuff. Let's body block for Izanami. Oh, he got her. Good play, man. But you're dead, though. Oh, we don't have mana. That's unfortunate. Very big unfortunate. I can still blink for him. Oh, he also have it. Okay, I guess I guess we're straight up gonna back. Big and force. He managed to pop her with a hammer, and I ran out of mana. So overall, the start didn't quite work out. We're waiting for some mana from the minions popping themselves from the guardian's blessing. They seem to not willing to be more aggressive, even though they should have. They absolutely should have went for our purple. Because from the looks of it, our jungler is also struggling. So we have no pressure or control in the jungler. That's the wrong one to go for. The big harpy is really not worth it. Good poke. Trying to harass him a little bit. Enemy missing middle. To no avail. Uh, cancel that. He's very focused on the right target. Ooh. If that hit, he would have died again. Unfortunately, our stun didn't land, but we have a wall here. Yep. Your middle tower. Get some damage on honor. <laughs> Izanami aggressively dashes, so we're gonna work on it. We're gonna body block for uh, Izanami here. Looks like Thor disengaged. We have no eyes on the enemy jungler. We're gonna get ganked soon. I think he backed. Harassing him out of this experience, but it's... Yeah, they're going in. Not allowing him to clear. They're just gonna all get into tower range. That's about the best I can do here. We need to back for some boots. We opted here for Teleria boots because I want some additional speed plus the MP5. Looks like Thor is level 3. Oh, hello Kabrakin, what you doing here? Let's pop you a little bit. Just some damage. Okay, okay, we got a stun. Oh, that's a good wall. I might be dead here, am I dead here? Very unfortunate place to go here. I guess we're gonna just bail out like this and blink away. Yeah, still works like a charm. <laughs> I hope they're mad because that was a pretty good play. Have 
Wolford debate. Nice job. Your middle tower is under attack. Trying to harass him a little bit, but actually going for Thor here. Oh, he, he got level 5 and immediately ults me. And looks like Kizunami was also face tanking the whole ultimate. That's unfortunate. I'm just gonna straight up mute this man and not pay attention to his lane anymore. Uh, as a very aggressive support, I'm trying to make plays. And they are not working because his anami is nowhere to be found. Enemy Let's spotted. wreck some havoc somewhere else because this doesn't work. I'm gonna grab level 5 off of these so we are able to rotate. That's the stun. That's the slow. Unfortunately, Kukulkin cannot land anything. He literally missed every single skill. But we still got a kill, so it's fine. Thor also rotated. That's Kabraken. That's a wall. Let's stun him out. Zone ourselves out from the, th uh, the stun on the Thor. Okay, literally and we put up a wall here. He should be dead. No, he squeezed through. What a gamer. Okay. Uh, I wish I had more mana here. Body blocks for the cat to deal damage. Ca cat deals damage. He is dead. Enemy spotted. Morgan is coming our way. Let's try and catch her. Nah, nah, she's just straight up running. She's not looking for kills. Oh, there she is. That tickles. Stop. I can be a little bit aggressive here. Let's put up this. Oh, that's her beats. Okay, okay. Yeah, I missed that as well. That's just a big misplay, but we got our beats. It's really not worth it. Let's mute this other man, and it's fine. Overall, we're doing pretty decent. <laughs> we're part of every kill on our team, so despite our, despite me be getting killed twice, it's not a big deal. Okay, they have a war here. Kabraken cannot fit through this. Yep, just get him stuck there. Inside the tornadoes, popping the ults. He's dead. Can I catch these boys? Ah, the range wasn't exactly there. But that, that, that previous wall was pretty good. And me, Kabraken stuck, it also allowed me to... Unfortunately, wasn't able to steal that red, and looks like we're in trouble, probably dead here. Kokolkin was spamming VGS instead of helping, so I guess I can mute this person as well. There's no reason for me to hear that, because nothing of importance coming away. Just the harassment. The unfortunate part of this is that we are top damage as a support past 5 minutes. That's, that's a very bad thing. Thor is no immediate danger, we have no blink. Even though he stood in the tornado. Can I stop his back? We did stop his back. And now he's actually in danger. Looks like this man wasn't aware I can do that. Now he stands educated, so it's fine. Going straight for the red here. I'm actually gonna unmute these guys because three people is a little bit too much. Oh, hello, Kabraken. You're in danger. You're not aware, though. You're very slow under tornado. Don't have mana, unfortunately, but the ladder is working. So we're gonna get some very soon. He's going for me. Does he not realize that I'm a support? That was not the play, my man. Another good wall. Oh, hello, Honor. Let's stop him for a little bit. That's his beast. He goes ultimate on Kukulkin and then uses his two on myself for some reason. If he went for Kukulkin, he would have got a kill, but he just wanted both and got nothing. Thor should still be here, right? I didn't see him on a ward. Looks like he went for our minis. Yeah. Hello, Thor. I can pop you a couple times. We can just go. He also disengaged, but this wall just make, making sure he's not following me. 
Enemy missing middle. Gotta grab our smalls because apparently Bastet doesn't want to get experience. We finally got some defense on both magical and physical. And we get pride win for that additional shield and additional cooldown reduction. With our stun being very effective, having a lot of cooldown on the mirror is always a good thing. I can make a play here. That's a wall. Didn't get him. That's Kabrakin taking the beats. Good stuff. Kabrakin got outplayed by our mid. Thor is ulting. Can we stop that? No, we can't. Oh, there's another Thor ult. That should be Morrigan. We got a word over there. She's going for the red. We need to defend that. She already get it. That was fast as fuck. On our ults, we got the Kukulkan unfortunate. Looks like Chuck also rotated. We can do things here. I freeze him. I pop him. He is dead. That's also a shutdown, which evens out the game a little bit more. Oh, that was a misplaced roll. I guess the range wasn't quite there, but it felt like it was. Maybe I just misplaced it myself. Gonna pop this. Can I do that, unfortunately? But we're just gonna straight up hide and back off. Looking at this stat is excruciatingly painful for me. I'm top everything on my team as a support. Fair enough, I also am top deaths on the team, so that's not the best one. But it's still worth it, I'm making the plays and I'm dictating the game. Let's pop a wall here, freeze him up, just get some poke. Kukul can add it to the poke, which is nice. Looks like Morgan's out of position again. I'm gonna try and find her. She's being a jerk clearing that blue buff and leaving one mini. That's unfortunate. She's back in mid. Kulkan seems to be in trouble. Like a lot of trouble. So we're returning to the mid to help him out. Looks like Thor's ulting. Yeah. Oh, my two didn't go off. That's unfortunate. Let's pop a wall here. That's not the best wall that I've ever did. Still pretty good fight. Let's stun him out of his three. He's dead. Can pop a wall here. Well, unfortunately, Thor immediately dashes out. But overall, that's, that fight was two for one trade. Oh, there's Thor. Thor ults. We're going for honor. That's his beats. Not a bad beats. That's his Aegis too. I missed that one. I expected a juke. We're still going in. He has some life steal, but it didn't help him. The damage wasn't entirely there. That's a free gold fury. We should go for it if my team follows up. Looks like nobody follows. I'm gonna stick to my guns. Just force this gold fury because these people don't pay attention. There's a Zanami, there's Kukulkin, there's the Secure, pretty nice. So, um, considering what my team is playing right now, we're going to a very, very selfish build. It's almost a solo lane build, not a support build. But we just need those defenses and CDR to be effective and be able to secure the kills and make plays on my own because I have no trust in these people, unfortunately. That's how it is sometimes. Let's go on this red. We didn't get it yet again. Up in the wall just to deter them from following me. The mid is... Oh, that was a good ult. You're in range and I deal a lot of damage. Looks like Thor is here again. I'm gonna pop a wall here. Trying a horrific. Nah. I spent everything trying to save the man. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. That's a double stun. That's a double silence. And that's a double kill. Good rotation on his Anami part. Unfortunately, we lose a tier 1 for it. We can get a pyro. It's free. 
There's an army here. We should get this for free. Oh, unfortunately, we're gonna lose tier 2 for that. That's bad. He's not gonna go for Phoenix. The, the thing about this is that the gold, the tier 2 is still on the map. We're gonna get it later and get that gold return. But the Pyromancer? Pyromancer is free gold. Overall, this game is pretty fun. Me doing a good job allows us to be an even game. Enemies in left lane. I would rather prefer someone else doing the, making the plays and doing a good job, so that would be a living game, but that's just how it is. Somehow in this season, the support role actually feels impactful, which is very surprising to me. Let's freeze her up. She's trying to run away. It's not gonna work. That was a good ult. That was a really good ult. She could have ulted into other things. That's the Thor ult missed. We're gonna freeze him up in his three. I can still, I can still fight. I have a lot of defense. Let's follow up on Honor here. Get something off of him. Looks like Colin got caught again. Wall him out. Slow him down. Chuck's here. But he's pretty tanky just like myself. That's gonna be a big silence. And then I'm gonna blink in. Another silence. A lot of uh, diminishing returns on that CC unfortunately. And that's a good wall. Pretty good play. We traded three for one. You're not gonna vanish too hard, aren't you? Gonna zone her out. Oh, she's actually behind us. Just give me an angle, please. Oh, are you stuck, my girl? Just popped horrific just in case that she won't run away. We need to take that Phoenix, but looks like Chalk is disengaging for some reason. I need to pop this speed buff because it's very unfortunate for the enemy jungler. Oh, we put down two words, but mine's in sentry, which is important. That's a good wall. That's another good wall, but we can pop it down. I'm not tanking the Phoenix, so it's not effective. Also, his wall is an ultimate. We got a tier 2, because Bastet was split pushing, which is not the best play. I would rather see her in mid, but at least we got something off of it. Oh, Kabrakin's out of position, but I don't have mana, so we're just gonna cool him down and back off. I really, really don't want to get Mystical Mail, so maybe if I propose it to Chalk... You might actually get it. It's super effective against Morrigan because she just literally cannot get out of you unless she ults in, into something that has dashes or global ults like a Thor. Oh no, we had no eyes on anyone. I'm the only one warding on our team, unfortunately, and they get this gold fury for free. We need to force Fire Giant. Honors and left. If my team was paying attention, we can actually go for the fire. Okay, there's Thor. That's everything he has. That's a stun. That's my ult. It's not gonna do a lot, he's also support. But just, just making this fight until my team takes the fire. Yep. That's a double stun. That's a blink on Sylvanas. Why the hell does he even have a blink? That's a double Thor ult. We are in deep trouble here. Honor, we need to keep him busy here. Just keep his attention on me. Pop a wall so he doesn't feel comfortable. He started off this engagement with a jump, so he's in a bad spot. Yeah, he felt that. That's a good ult, that's a pretty good ult, but you're not running away. I think his anami just stages, and that's weird. <laughs> but we're not gonna dwell on that too hard, this should be game. Morgan has no ult, she's alone. There she is. We freeze, we kill. That's it, that's the game. I could be watching anime right now. I'm just straight up gonna sit over here and dump this damage. Yep. Kokolkin misses the ult, that's just great, but it doesn't do anything. I'm a part of 21 kills out of 24, which is 3 kills away from 100%. Ahem, <laughs> that's about as good as it gets, really. 
So in terms of builds, we're going into a very selfish build, like I said, it worked out in the end. We have Teleri boots for additional speed to be able to catch up with people and be very, very annoying and aggressive with my walls and my stuns. It give a lot of setup to the teams, despite them missing ultimates on the stunned enemy, it doesn't matter. I was there for the plays. I would go for Pridewind for that additional CDR and double defense. Like I said, very selfish build, so we're going straight into our own defenses and a shield from our ult. We're going into metal at discord and both double de defense items and additional CDR at this point we're sitting at 40% because as a support you cannot really rely on be the ability to have enough gold to buy red pots in the late game and also I wanted that full CDR a lot earlier than the uh, than the late game nobody comes even close I was really setting up for my whole team I was a part of every kill I was the reason of mostly every kill I'm in this game so I assume that's a support carry in terms of damage, I actually out damage uh, both our jungler and mid laner. Comparatively, I out damage the enemy support by over twice the amount. He's a part of 7 kills, I'm part of 21, my man. Our ADC is out damaging the enemy ADC by a little bit. Our jungler is actually out damaging the enemy Kabrakin as well. Our solo laner is way ahead of the enemy solo laner close to double the damage and our mid laner is actually even with the enemy sylvanas and the mid lane which is a big no-no in terms of warding i put down a significant amount but our solo laner actually did a better job along with our jungler which is surprising to me considering how little impact he had on the game on the enemy team unfortunately the jungler doesn't know that the wards exist and that is very very unfortunate but overall yeah that'll be a ymir conquest support game the classic one no shenanigans no jungle mid ymir just straight up support very aggressive the blink horrific selfish build a lot of cdr a lot of setup for the enemy team and just constant pressure with those walls you pop the stun somebody disengages get that distance you pop a wall and they're in big trouble and if they have horrific in your alt under them they're slow as hell and that wall is basically a stun and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe it helps me immensely if you want to ask me a question leave a comment i respond to every single comment on my channel if you like the video leave a like on the video it helps the youtube algorithm to show my content to other people which is much appreciated ring that notification bell so you'll be able to see new content as soon as possible it also helps the youtube algorithm and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day